Well, with this being our final Indiana News Desk of the Year, videographer Devin Ridgeway put together this piece on some of the top stories we brought you in 2023. It improves walking and bicycling by providing this reliable corridor for people to use where they will feel uh, safer and more comfortable. It's pretty obvious that you had a woman that was suffering, getting worse, showing you know, serious medical issues, and they just let her die. If you were properly monitoring an incarcerated person, they don't lose 44 pounds. They don't lose a quarter of their body weight in 20 days. Very few states give small folks an opportunity to both produce the product and sell it to the public and being able to do it all in one spot was what was really important to us. This is a program that allows for any kid, any size, any shape to be able to come and find success. Its impact is really global despite it's just like a small borderline region of Ukraine it's just like fight is going on. There was no question that this is somebody who would have made a great mark but just imagine where she might have gone had she lived. When were the, the truck? They were accepted today and they were dumped today. It is a more humane place, I think, partly because of the community's involvement there. I love going to the games and I love Sarah Scalia. We'll, we'll regroup and then the goals will remain the same to win another Big Ten championship, to, you know, get to a, a Final Four. I never dreamed I would be elected mayor of this city that I um, very surprisingly fell in love with on a cross-country bicycling trip. We, as the governing body, need to put limits on the access to tax dollars we allow Indiana University to garner by denying such funds to be directed towards Kinsey Institute. It's too late to go back to the legislature and say, no, we don't want we don't want this bill, but I, I believe strongly that there are other ways to do that other than separating the institute. It wouldn't take much for anybody to overpower a teacher if they knew that you had a gun on you. I've had things thrown at me, noises all the way around me. I know that they've been around me, but I haven't had that actual visual sighting. So that's what I'm always chasing. I walked all his adrenaline, he kicked down the door and there was a couple people in there and he said, I've got an infant. Do you have a basement? We need to get find shelter. They just want the homeless gone out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. Okay, where are they gonna go? You can sit there and fidget, and, you know, tighten your belts in the lineup shoe, but as soon as you go out there, it all just kind of goes away and just you're focused on one thing and that's winning. I'm worried about it in who is gonna be in this race because we've got to turn things around. Even after we say, there are clinics available to you, we can help, it's okay. There's still kind of the response of, but I don't know how I'm gonna pay for it. I hope you hear my voice clearly and loudly tonight as I state clearly, the superintendent has chosen not to listen to the heart of these high schools, which are the teachers and students, and therefore must be removed. People may look at it later and say, hey, I didn't get to weigh in on that, I wanna weigh in on that. Sometimes it's too late, sometimes it's not, and government tries to accommodate that as best we can. Defense! Yes, defense! 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 That's the end of this program, but our work continues online as we cover the news throughout the week at WTIUNews.org. Have a great holiday. Join us for more in 2024.